<laughs> My name is Matthias. Yeah, I'm from Norway. Do anyone of you know uh, where Norway is? Yes? It's in Europe. Yeah, north of Europe. It's cold there. <laughs> it's much better weather. It's, uh, it's a beautiful country, just like Uganda. With a lot of beautiful people like Uganda. Yeah. Have uh, any of you uh, read the Bible? It's, it's a really good book. Uh, in the Bible, Jesus, it's, a, it's about uh, Jesus in the Bible. And uh, Jesus is uh, speaking of a parable. Do you know what a parable is? It's a story. Yeah. Which teaches us something. And in the, in the story, uh, there is a man. And this man is, uh, is uh, one day, he's walking down the road and he found, he look at this field and he says, ah, what a beautiful field. I'm gonna, gonna just walk over it. I'm just gonna look around, just, I'm just a little curious about this field. And, suddenly he finds a treasure in this field. And he was amazed. Wow, a treasure. That's it's not something you find every day when you walk uh, on a field. Uh, I, don't, I, I don't know how fields work in Uganda, but in Norway we don't find treasure in every field. <laughs> but, uh, he, this, this uh, treasure was so amazing that he, that he sold everything he owned just to buy this field. Was that a smart thing to do? You think so? Yes. Yeah, I think it was genius. Because he knew that there was a treasure in that field. I think uh, maybe uh, he uh, had parents who said, why are you selling everything you owe just to buy a field? They didn't understand. You're, the, you're, you're doing a disgrace to this family. You're, why are you doing this? This is stupidity. Why are you selling everything you own just for a field? But he knew something, that there was a treasure in that field. Maybe he got a wife, have a, have a wife, and his wife was 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 mad at his husband, at her husband, because he was selling everything they had just to buy a field. And but he, he did it because he knew that there was more in this field than than the others knew. He knew that there would be profit if he gave up everything just to receive this field. Uh, this is a parable teaching about how God's kingdom works, how we come into God's kingdom. The thing is, Sometimes being a follower of Jesus isn't easy. And even understanding a Christian isn't, isn't easy. Because all these people who were questioning this man, they thought he was mad because they saw only the field. They haven't haven't searched the field and find that there was a treasure in it. So everyone who doesn't know Jesus doesn't know what treasure there is in him. There's a, a verse in the Bible when disciples were were, uh, were questioning Jesus and was uh, uh, was uh, asking him. 
how how can we get to to the to God? And Jesus answered by saying, "I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through me." If you understand that verse that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, I think you know the most important thing in the world. I think you know that is a, that is a truth that when you know it, you, you can give up everything just for that truth. Just like the man in the field. You can sell everything you own just for that truth. Just to have Jesus. Because he is the way, the truth, and the life. And that in capital letters, like he is the way. There's no other way. If I try to come to God just by my own works, just by being nice, just by lifting myself up, I'm not going to be able to, to even scratch the surface of what. It's, it's, it's impossible. It's, I cannot do it. I'm not able. I can know much things. I can know that, that uh, the sky is blue. I can know many truths, but that truth, that truth that will set you free of everything, that is Jesus. It's not a knowledge, it's a person. And the, you can have, when you live your life in the world, it can seem right. It can seem very fine, it can seem very normal and okay. But the truth is that many people live their lives just because everybody else is living their life. They're doing things just because everyone, everybody else is doing it. And they're living their lives as normal people. And that is the way to live their life. But the world is full of darkness. And when you're used to darkness, it's normal. Your eyes become, become accustomed to darkness when you live in darkness. So it doesn't look like darkness. But if you know the light, the true light, you can see that see what is true and what is false. You can see what is right and what is wrong. You can see that everything you did before wasn't right. You can see that some things that everybody do is not right. Maybe it's normal to pick on people, to to say bad things, but when you have the light, you see that it's, that's, that's not the way to go. And when you see the light, you see things more clearly. And you can see the beauty of things. You can see that every man and woman is created in the image of God. That their eyes have life in them. And they can bring that forth by trusting the one that is life. Because light has a tendency to, it's, it brings life into things. Just like plants grow, people can also grow when light is put into them. It, puts, it shines over, over it. 
Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. And if you really search this, not only learn it, I can learn a lot of things about Jesus, but I, if I don't know him, it's not going to do any effect. It's just going to be uh, knowledge. I can, uh, I can learn a lot of things in school, but if I don't put it in my heart and know it, not in the head, but in the heart, it's more than it's, it's something more. It's something. It's it's more. So I encourage you to to search the field. To search the field for the treasure. And when you find it, you will understand why you should give up things to just be with with him, with Jesus. Yeah.